Good morning, Cross Point. I'm in my basement this morning, perhaps. Um, I'm trying to communicate uh, what is going on in Holy Week. So uh, it is day seven, and it is uh, Sabbath day, according to the Jewish calendar, and um, the last day of the week for the Jews, Sabbath day. So we have worked our way through six days now. We ended with Good Friday, which was the day Christ died yesterday. And so now uh, this morning, we would essentially find him in the tomb. And that's kind of why I'm in the basement for today. So, um, I hope that you were able to join us for Good Friday, and if not in person, then at least online, or if not on, in person or online, that you were able to think through it, meditate and pray on your own. But I uh, want to read a couple of passages uh, about what's going on on Saturday um, or the Sabbath day for the Jews. So um, in Mark's gospel, <clears throat> In chapter 15, verse 42, it says, when evening came, that is of Friday, uh, that would be yesterday, since it was the day of preparation, that is the day before the Sabbath. So in the Jewish week, the day of preparation would have been Friday. And so uh, it was on that, you know, kind of probably later Friday that Joseph of Arimathea, who was a, a wealthy man who had been following Jesus largely in secret, came out in the open now and asked for the body of Christ and Pilate gave it to him. And so, <clears throat> excuse me. So Joseph, uh, he buys like a linen shroud and um, takes Christ down and wraps him in it. But the, so they put him, put him in the tomb, uh, Joseph's tomb. No one had been in that tomb. Uh, no other bodies were in that, in that area. So in Matthew's gospel, now I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 27, pick it up in verse 62. It says the next day, that is the day after the day uh, of preparation. So we are now on the Sabbath day, our Saturday, holy Saturday, we would call. So the next day, that is verse 62 of Matthew 27. After the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember how that imposter said while he was still alive, after three days, I will rise. Therefore, order the tomb to be made secure until the third day, lest his disciples go and steal him away and tell the people he has risen from the dead. And the last fraud will be worse than the first. And Pilate said to them, you have a guard of soldiers. Go make it secure as you can. So they went and made the tomb secure by sealing the stone and setting a guard. So that is about all that we know that happened on Saturday. So Jesus is in the tomb probably by late Friday. Um, and then, of course, what we just read happens on Saturday and, and they set up a guard. But uh, Jesus is in the tomb and we await his resurrection. So. That is it for today. I am looking forward to tomorrow. I am anticipating celebrating the resurrection of the dead. Uh, but according to the calendar and where we are tracking with Jesus in his journey, he is in the tomb right now. And uh, all that has happened is that a guard is set up because they knew that he had said in three days, I'll rise. So Crosspoint, love you. Looking forward to connecting with you tomorrow morning. Let's meet together and celebrate an empty tomb. All right. I love you. We'll see you then.